This will happen by January 2023. Again, family, this is why I tell you guys, you guys got to find a day where you're not busy. I know everybody could be busy, but January 2023, things can take a major downturn, okay? Now, Armenio, the auditor for FTX US, Nexo, and Kraken has decided to leave the crypto industry after eight years. Now, please take your digital assets off of all of the exchanges because I'm telling you, by next month or in February, when exchanges start to disappear and there was no news talking about this exchange is going to disappear and all your digital assets is gone. You have to go ahead and get your hardware wallet and remove your digital currencies. This is what's happening. They're going to try to control crypto assets where us retail investors cannot really purchase. So they're like, okay, well, there's so many people, well, not really so many people, say about like what, 20% of people in the world, retail investors, have invested in so much digital assets. Let's go ahead and just remove these exchanges and they lose all their crypto and they can't find a way to retrieve or refund of what they spent on. So you have to be smart about that. Okay. Now, as you see, big short investor Michael Burry says audits of crypto exchanges like Binance and FTX are meaningless. They're just doing all this crap. Like what I said, it's just a smoke screen to make you feel like cryptocurrency is not where it is. This is the problem. In 2005, when I started using a new kind of credit default swap, our auditors were learning on the job. That's not a good thing. Same goes for FTX, Binance, etc. The audit is essentially meaningless. So when they're saying, oh, Binance failed the... Uh, audit and all these other exchanges failed the audit they're trying to put fear in everyone's eyes because to us audit is something huge oh we got we got audited so we got to figure out how we're going to pay this and pay pay that so they're looking at oh well these exchanges are going to go down so we'll just take the money of the losses of what people had in their accounts and pay the auditor whatever that we are in the outstanding balance of. Now, if you guys look at the whole market right now, Bitcoin is, is at 16,000, Ethereum's at 1,100. Now, I have been saying this, we are going to decrease in prices. XRP is at 35 cents. We are going to decrease in prices. We 2023 may be a year where we will hit our lowest bottom. Like right now, Dogelon Mars is at 29.02, down by 2%. But it's okay. Even though you were purchasing at the 3000s, even though you were purchasing already at the 2000s, family, at the end of the day, as long as you're taking your digital assets off of these exchanges when you purchase them and send them to your hardware wallet, you are fine. OK, you're definitely fine. But while we're talking about this, this is what's so crazy. Bank for International Settlements new policy allows banks to hold two percent of reserves in cryptocurrency. So they're trying to take all the exchange out of here, but let the banks hold two percent of reserves of cryptocurrency. Now, what does that tell you? Again, only if you guys knew that you are a walking bank. That cell phone that you have, that hardware wallet you have, you are a bank. You don't need to go to a, a, a centralized bank where you go and deposit your money. You are a decentralized bank. So now these banks are trying to hold 2% of reserves. So anything that they get, they're making sure they hold some cryptocurrency. What are you doing? Are you making sure you hold cryptocurrency? Most people said they're waiting. Most people said they're not buying. I'm not a lot of people saying they're selling. Well, me, I'm going to be honest with you. I have to look, I have to have a mind of an institution, a major institution. And what major institutions are doing is they're not broadcasting of what they're purchasing 
They're not saying they're not purchasing. They are accumulating throughout the ups and downs. That is the process of a hodler. You have to hold. So that's what the bank, new banks are doing right now. Now, have you guys seen this? Former President Donald Trump NFT collection sold out in under 12 hours. I'm not going to lie to you. I was going to go ahead and hold one of them. But <clears throat> 45,000 items sold at $99 each for a total of $4.45 million. Now, God forbid if anything happened to Donald Trump, Anybody who holds an NFT, that's that thing is gonna go crazy. It's gonna blow up. So even with NFTs, what you purchase on VV Collectibles, uh, Crypto.com NFTs, and so on, those NFTs that you have now will be valuable, and they are valuable as we speak. Just because the prices went down and what you purchase the NFT for at that time of day, it may not worth that. But in the next several years, that digital asset will be worth a lot of money. Okay. Now, now this lady, she was talking about the whole uh, Binance. And, you know, obviously she's a money manager. And she's just, you know, saying stuff about, you know, well, how Binance, they're trying to hide 500 million. And, you know, it's, it's just. It's just news, you know what I'm saying? But that's not the real important information. The real important information is, are you accumulating digital assets and storing them on your hardware wallet and being safe? Because next year is going to be a whole new ball game. It's going to show the paper hands and the true hodlers. Because when things get down crazy, what are you going to say when Dogen on Mars is below seven zeros. How are you going to feel? You're going to lose that hope and faith, and you're going to lose that same hope and faith when Bitcoin goes down to 10,000, when Ethereum goes down to 500. Man, I ain't losing nothing because I'm going to accumulate and I'm going to buy what I can. I'm not going to go in depth, but I'm going to buy what I can because I am a bank. I am a decentralized bank. I am holding digital assets in my reserve. So once again, family, thank you guys for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and drop your comments down in the section below and let me know what you think.